What's happening, 502 crew? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Ty, Ryan, Nick. Back as always with another reaction. But first, if you like doing 502 crew, we need to give this video a thumbs up. And we need you to hit that subscribe button. And please, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Alright, finally, it is time to delve into some Southern Rock. Yeehaw! Now, obviously, we live in Louisville. Uh, I'm interested to hear from you guys. Do you consider Louisville part of the South? <laughs> because I can tell you right now, obviously, the state of Kentucky is considered Southern. It's probably the most Northern state in the U.S. That, is, that is considered Southern. Yeah. Uh, now, obviously, Louisville's different. You know, it's the biggest city in Kentucky. It's Louisville, by the way. L Louisville. Louisville. Yeah. Louisville. That's another thing. People say Louisville, Louisville. Louisville. Yeah, let's not get into that. But uh, <laughs> anyway, so obviously Louisville's different. You know, way more city life. Yeah. Uh, a lot more cultures here. Mm -hmm. I guess you would say, you know, a good mix. More urban. Um, but I can tell you right now, <laughs> the southern roots are in Louisville as well. Oh, oh yeah. You know, even with us, you know, we kind of have a little bit of an accent. Yeah. We were born and raised in Louisville. Yeah, and my... Uh, Family has a Southern gospel group. Yeah, so it's not like we don't have any Southern roots. You know, we have plenty of Southern roots still. So, yeah, time to get into some Southern rock. When I think of Southern rock, one of the first bands I think of is the Almond Brothers. Almond. Now, I know you have at least heard of I, I I've heard of the Almond Brothers, yeah. and I probably know some of their songs, but I can't just sit there and point right. at the Almond You've Brothers. definitely heard some because yeah. I was there. When you heard the <laughs> Fair enough. So he knows. <laughs> Ryan? No, I don't know. The, I don't, okay, the name sounds familiar, but songs, no. I've never heard not one song from Okay, them. so a little bit of background. As far as you know. Right. The Allman Brothers were an American rock band formed in Jacksonville, Florida. Mm. First thing I think of when I think of Jacksonville. Jaguars. The Jaguars. Yeah, <laughs> Jaguars. Of course. Uh, and they have a beach there. Uh but yeah, I formed in Jacksonville, Florida in 1969. My brother's Dwayne Allman, who was the founder, uh, slide guitar and lead guitar, says he played, and Greg Allman, who was uh, vocals and keyboards and songwriting, hmm. as well as Dickie Betts, another guitarist, Barry Oakley, bass guitar, Butch Trucks, drums, man, Whoa. Butch Trucks. What is that? Wow. <laughs> Get that, out of his way. That yeah. may <laughs> be the most unique name we've seen on the channel. You know, it could be a nickname, though. I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and Jai, Jahani, Jamo, Johansson. All J's. <laughs> Man. <laughs> it's, uh, is it J, Johnny? Yeah, I don't J know. J, Johnny, Johnson? I don't know, but it says he's drums as well, so they have two drummers? Everything you said was <laughs> completely different of how I would have said it. You well, said Jai, yeah. Johanny, <laughs> Johansson. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure it's if you don't J, know by Johnny, now, Johnson. If you don't know by now... <laughs> that, uh, we don't really pronounce things well in this channel. No, we just guess. But can we get over that and just <laughs> and I get to the fact that they have two drummers, though? Yeah, I, yeah, I think no. that's pretty cool. Well, I, I've seen that, though. I've actually yeah. been to a concert where there's been two drummers. Yeah. Uh, but the band incorporated <laughs> elements of blues, jazz, and country music in their live shows featured jam band style improvisation and instrumentals. <clears throat> Many consider them to be the first ever jam band. Yeah. Now, Ryan, do you know what jam band means? No, I was about to ask you, what is that? So basically, what it described right there is uh, a jam band will play their songs, but... Uh, and then they'll just go off. And yeah, they'll nice. kind of improvise and just kind of do what they like, want. And it can go on for a long time. Oh, yeah. Actually. Until um, they decide to come to a last... You know. Right. After recording three albums, group leader Dwayne Allman was killed in a motorcycle accident later that year, on October 29th, 1971... And the band dedicated Eat a Peach to his memory, a dual studio slash live album that cemented the band's popularity. Bassist Barry Oakley died exactly one year and 13 days later on November 11th, 1972. So they lost two members within the first three years. Man, mm. That's pretty rough right there. Man. That is rough. Uh, they carried on, though. Uh, I think according to Wiki, they made about 18 albums. Uh, Butch Trucks and Greg Allman passed away in 2017. Oh, not Butch Trucks. So, yeah, um, it's the good guy. So, yeah, not a lot of them left, obviously. Uh, but one of the most popular songs, Whipping Post, <laughs> without a doubt. Uh, Greg Allman 
wrote this song was only 21 years old when the song was first recorded. Mm, youngin'. Uh, and apparently, he wrote this on an ironing board using burnt matches. He got the idea in the middle of the night and couldn't find a pen. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> what? So he got up in the middle of the night and had an idea, and he didn't and have a pen, yeah. so let me use these matches. Burnt matches, And yeah. wrote on the ironing board this song. It's so crazy how, it, you know, when you hear how songs came to creation like that, it's like, man, it's so crazy. Again, it's one of those lightning in a bottle things. Yeah. You know, yeah, I, hurry I, up and do it. I have an idea, and I don't want to have it to where I forget, you know, so write it down. Uh, apparently, this was a staple of the live shows. Usually played it as an extended jam, mm-hmm. you know, like a jam band does. Uh, and apparently fans would scream out for this even at concerts for other bands. <laughs> Do a whipping post. <laughs> yeah, really. By the way, I love this album cover. Um, it's very simple, but fantastic shot. It almost looks like a painting to me. Uh, but this is uh, their debut studio album, released in 1969. Self-titled. Uh, and what do you know? <laughs> whipping post is the closer. <laughs> Of course. It's like a lot of songs we do. So, yeah, man, let's do it. This is the Almond Brothers Band Whipping Post. solos going on there uh, man I love the organ the organ man it's just uh, kind of hypnotizing you know we've mentioned that on the channel before mm-hmm. it's just like ah, uh, you're just kind of getting lost in that I, there was a lot going on in the headphones the left side right side yeah and uh, the way these drums are going uh, it's almost like a, like a jazz feel to them. I hope I don't get killed for that but it really is and I like how uh, during the verses, the guitar is kind of just like, you know, it's just hiding in the background. It's like, we're here, but uh, it's, to me, that kind of sounds like the sadness part of this song, really. Um, and it's not like it's the smoothest transition into the chorus. You know, they just kind of stop and then go right to it. Uh, but I think that's kind of the charm of the older sound of this. Like, obviously, the produ- uh, production on this isn't fantastic, you know, hearing it now, uh, but maybe back then it was. I don't know, but I think that's kind of the allure to it to me. You know, it kind of has that old sound. Uh, but man, when he gets in the chorus, um, ah! oh yeah, he goes hard in the oh, chorus. Man, he is uh, singing his butt off, really. <laughs> and it's almost like he's stepping away from the mic, you know, because if oh, he yeah. was right in the mic, it'd be like, yeah, a little too know, much, yeah. crazy. But man, he is really wailing it, like really. And, and uh, talk about soulful, yeah, man. Uh, but yeah, about the lyrics, uh, to me, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, he's got a woman that does him wrong in this relationship a lot. Uh, took all my money, wrecked my new car. Mm. <laughs> now she's with one of my good time buddies. They're drinking in some crosstown bar. Jesus. Uh, but for some reason, he can't leave her. 
So it feels like I'm tied to a whipping post, just getting whipped over and over again, getting punished. Uh, but, you know, he can't leave her. You mm. know, and a lot of dudes, uh, <laughs> that still goes on today. A lot of oh, dudes. Yeah. A lot uh, of dudes are tied to the whipping post. They know that the, their girl is shady, doing some shady stuff, and has uh, ruined their life in many ways. But they're like, man, I can't get out of this relationship, though. I just, I don't want to be single, you know, so. Tied to the whip. You just keep on getting whipped and whipped and whipped. And whipped. That's what people say, you know, you're whipped. You know, that's where this comes from, so. Mm -hmm. Unexpectedly. <laughs> yeah, I was waiting yeah. for the last. Bang. Yeah, yeah. Which I'm sure they do. They did. Live. Right. Yeah. So what y'all think? I love the course. Of course, yeah. the course is great. Dude, how did he uh, not wreck his vocals doing that? My goodness. And by the way, the guy that was uh, obviously uh, singing uh, on this song, uh, he was the one on the keyboard. Oh, okay. So. Yeah, yeah, I've seen. I've seen a like a video or something. These guys, I don't know the song that I heard. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen the guy singing and playing piano. Yeah. Um, I think I like I like the dude's voice. 
I like it better when the song slowed down. Yeah, I was thinking I like the same it, thing. Like, I like, like when, that slowing. Down. I like when it because the voice his voice matches the slower part better than the uh, when he, when they're more sped up. I yeah. guess you'd say. Yeah. Um, but the drums is what was amazing to me. I couldn't even like keep my ears off of it. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying that's the only thing I could hear because because they were just so <laughs> bah, 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 yeah. and I was like, oh yeah. my gosh, I was like trying to hear because there are two drummers and I was trying to hear both of them. Yeah. So I was more interested in that than anything. But I did like the when he was on the keyboard. So. Yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's okay for me. It's not, you know, something that, you know, it's not my type of style, you know. Yeah. But, I mean, you know, I can always admit when I hear a good singer, I think it's a great voice. I like yeah. that kind of raspy, you know what I'm saying? I like, the, <laughs> yeah. I like when they get crazy, you know what I'm saying? Cause but you, the drums were the, was the most interesting thing to me about the song. Yeah, because he, he has that believable voice. Yeah, exactly. Uh, like, you, I mean, I don't know, did this actually happen to him? Did he, was he with a girl that did him wrong a bunch yeah. of times? Did he felt that way? Because uh, it sounds like it to me. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, it definitely does have, uh, like I said, that old sound to it. Yeah, it's definitely, yeah. It if this was sound, remastered, yeah. like, I'd, I'd be interested to hear that. Yeah, but uh, again, though, to me, that's kind of the appeal, you know, I, for a lot of people like you, maybe, you know, uh, maybe a remaster would help you like the song a little oh, yeah. more. But, uh, yeah, I just, uh, I think when I first heard it, I really wasn't, like, blown away or anything either. Uh, but it's one of those songs that I've warmed up to, and I was like, okay, I kind of understand this a little more, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, uh, like I said, though, I love that organ, you know, especially the times after the chorus. Good Lord, I feel like I'm dying. I love that pause. Then he comes just in with to the... Hear dun, 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 yeah. yeah, and the hypnotizing part, so... To me, that kind of gives it the southern sound. The yeah. organ's what makes it, you know, southern yeah. rock. <laughs> Definitely. To me, at least. Yeah, and uh, both those solos, uh, I'm not sure if that was the same guitar or not. You know, the first one was in the left side of the headphones, and the second one was in the right. Uh, and they definitely sounded like a jam bandy <laughs> type yeah, of the solo end. there. Yeah, at the you end, that's, that's, I was, whenever y'all was described to me, that's where I was like, okay, so there's where the jam band comes in. Yeah, so, yeah, I, I like that song, and Allman Brothers uh, does have a good catalog. They, <laughs> they really do. So, uh, yeah, give us more suggestions. Uh, I've heard a few songs from this band. Not a whole lot, so put them in the comments. Drop it. But yeah, loved it. That's the end of the video, guys. Please tell us what you thought about that song. We love hearing your feedback. Please tell us your views. Thanks for subscribing and hitting that bell. Peace, Peace out. out.